Afternoon, this is Michael Hanley from HanleyofArabia.com out of Kalhat, Oman. I just got out, got out of the water. Uh, it's fairly clean. The wind's starting to kick up right now a little bit. You could actually kite this, kite surf this if you had a large kite. Uh, it's a little bit too windy for the stand-up paddling. The current's really strong. I got swept all the way down about 800 meters from the car. Uh, I swam about 1,500 meters west over to so it's in Scarpments. There's mountains over here meeting the ocean. That's my, my favorite part of any type of uh, beach outing or free dive outing is when you see mountains meeting the ocean. And underneath the mountains is these escarpments and the water is really deep over there and there's lots of fish. I saw all sorts of fish, schools of fish. I was immersed in schools of fish. We're swimming on the bottom. Uh, it's warm on the top, but down about 15 meters, or, sorry, excuse me, about 10 meters or so, it gets really cold. I was diving at max about 30 meters. Uh, I could have gone deeper, but no sense in pushing it. Uh, everything that you want to see really here in Northeast Oman is pretty close uh, to the shore. Now, if you start going out further, you're just starting to get away from the rocks and where the protected areas are, so you're not really going to see any fish out there. It starts to get sandy, so there's no reason to go out there unless you're just doing exercises, free dive exercises. But uh, it's warm, but not scorching because of the breeze. Yesterday it was brutal, but I'm wearing my rash guard. It's quite breathtaking scenery. Uh, Northeast Oman is really a great spot to go to for free diving and beach outings, and it's remote. I mean, I've, I've had the ocean to my myself the entire time that I've been here. This is, I've been free diving alone. There's no one around. I just got the fish myself, the rocks. Well, I saw some uh, fish work in the top just now. There's big fish on the bottom, small fish on the top, and the, obviously the large fish go after the small fish. You know, it's the food chain. I was close to uh, some fish where I could have speared them. I was like within like four, four feet away, one and a half meters. I mean, I had some good shots. I didn't bring a spear gun. In fact, I don't own a spear gun. But if I wanted to live here and just eat fish, I, I could do it. It's just abundant. I could spear, and I can also do uh, casting off a boat, or I can cast off the beach right now. You can catch plenty of fish. There's so much fish out there that you'd be able to sustain yourself no problem for months on end. And that's what they do here for a living. They fish. The Imanis are out every day, but they're going for big fish way out, about 20 kilometers offshore, but you can find fish close to shore if you want to spear or uh, use your fly rod or you can use a casting rod. Adventure or die, handleyofarabia.com.